Hi, this is Ardeen. I want to teach you how to make a magic loop. Each of these samples are made in the round, so we crochet in a circle. This one has a large hole in the center. In a lot of patterns, you don't want to see that, so we're not going to show you how to do that one. We'll do this one, which is made with a magic loop. This is row one. It's made with six single crochet around a magic loop and join together to complete the circle with a slip stitch. Row two is made with two single crochet in each of the one in the first row. So there will be 12 and it will be joined together with a slip stitch. I'll show you how to do that. Putting yarn over your palm, you might want the tail a little bit long. And here I've got a tail of about six inches. Go around your fingers to make the loop. It doesn't really matter what size the loop is. Go from the front with your hook, grab some yarn from the back and draw it through that big loop. Just so you know, this is actually pretty awkward uh, because everything is so loose, so don't worry about it. Just keep trying until you get it. At this point, I have one loop around my hook. You can see I can make it larger or smaller. So you don't want to make it real tight. We're going to do a chain right now. So yarn over, point your hook down, and draw it through the loop. That's chain one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet six times around this loop and closing two strands of yarn, the loop that is here and then this tail end. It doesn't matter if the tail end is coming through the whole the circle and down or whether your tail end is sticking outside of the loop. It just doesn't matter. So I'm just going to leave it in there. We're going to single crochet six, putting your hook through the center, yarn over, and bring it through. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over, complete the single crochet by drawing it through both. That's number one. Number two, keep going through the center, pull some yarn from the back, you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, draw it through both, that's two. Three. Four. Now you just want to try and make all of these uh, uniform tensions so that they're about the same height. It is a little bit awkward, like I said, it's not an easy thing to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold with my right hand, I'm going to hold the stitch that I made last, and the tail end I'm going to pull so that the loop gets smaller and smaller. When you get to the very end, pull real tight to close it up so you don't see that hole in the center. We're not quite finished yet with our foundation row. We need to connect single crochet number six with single crochet number one. So put your hook underneath the two strands of yarn on your single crochet, yarn over, drawing the hook through both, under both loops, through that single crochet and through the loop that was on your hook. And we just finished row one with six single crochet. Depending on what your pattern says, uh, follow the pattern, but I'm just going to do row two is going to be a single crochet of 12. So chain one to make the height of a single crochet. And 
and then going underneath that first one, do two single crochet in that single crochet. Moving on to the next one, number two, two single crochet in that one. Here's number three, two single crochet in this one. This is number five, single crochet from row one, and here's the number six, single crochet from row one. So two in that one. And we're not quite done with row one, two. We're gonna go and, oops, didn't even finish that one. Okay, so there's two in that last one. Now we're gonna jo join single crochet number 12 with single crochet number one of the row two by going underneath that first single crochet, drawing some yarn from the back, bring it through that single crochet and through the loop on your hook. And that's a slip stitch finishing row two.